There it is. Hollow Knight. I guess the star won't go out, huh? Because <laughs> uh, I'm a year late, and there's been DLC, and I'm, I'm late to the game, and everyone on the planet's played it already, and yet I put up a poll of 13 games, and this one wins by like a mile, so damn. All right, let's see then. I still have not played this game. I meant to, it's just there's so many video games. Go until they touch the edges of the screen? Oh, weird. I'm, I have a functioning screen, I'm fine. I'll trust you. In wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch you taught, we changed. Basis instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. There's the attack button. We have five health plips. Ooh. Surprisingly destructible environment. None of the buttons seem to do anything. No double jump. Very height sensitive jumping. Based on how long you hold it. I don't see any directional. Oh, there's an up attack. You can down attack in the air. It appears to be the two- the only buttons, though. There's jump and attack, and then joystick. Okay. That's where we're starting. Destroy. Destroy. Enemy? Goodbye. Didn't even confirm it as an enemy. I just kind of murdered it because it existed in front of me in a video game. Take that. Ah, they turn on ledges. We appear to be tutorialing. What about you guys? Moths? Is it just a light source? That's a hell of an attack swing. He's not a very practiced swordsman, is he? Or he's just indiscriminate with his power. He just throw he just swings out that attack and like it you'd think he was aiming at the enemy, but he destroyed an entire statue that was off to the side. And like that's impressive in concerning ways. Don't see a secret. So I know nothing about this game, really, besides the fact that it's a hand-drawn Metroidvania. Which implies certain things about, like, level, navigation, and unlock- Ow. Unlocking powers over time, and boss fights, and- Ow. So that's what it sounds like to take damage in this game, I guess. So you're Ow. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you among us. Focus your soul, and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies. Enough soul. Once enough soul is collected, uh, press B. 
hold B to focus soul and heal. So I can heal with... Ah. You can heal over time. Good to know. I take it they wanted me to get hit by that slag type then. Like that was very intentional. I wonder if those drops dis disappear over time. Like if I have to worry about missing them or not. I did it. It's gonna take a little practice to get in back into 2D platforming mode. Oh, well, I'm gonna want I'm gonna want those. Uh up or left? Not sure. Do I have a do I have a map yet, I wonder? Didn't mean to open that. We have an inventory. I'm not sure if we have a map. Oh. Those spikes might one-shot you if it's like many other games. Oh. I got some feedback there when I hit the wall, so I kind of thought that it was destructible. Ah, cool. Dead end. Oh, jeez. Gotta watch out for nature. It's scary. Seriously, the primary threat so far is nature itself. I guess that's kind of always true if you're counting the bugs and monsters and what- I mean, but I mean like... Rock formations are my threat. Ah! Saw you that time. I'm watching now. Hi? Oh. Jeez. Alright, I'm getting sticky gross additional pieces of health. Get out of here. No iconography can represent anything but me. Oh, crap. No, nope, that's not happening. But if I knew that was going to happen in advance, I could have fallen left. and would have been able to grab that. But I have not, so I did not. Ow. Okay, so when you miss a jump and get hit by the spikes, you lose one health and respawn back. I was previ I was a little worried that you permanently die. I'm not not permanently, but like you I was worried that you die as in have to start over. Ooh. A chance to hit out. Oh, not quite. Yep. They went at the spikes. That's unfortunate. Somehow, I don't think I can make this jump. Nope. Do I have an air dash? Maybe later. But none of the buttons seem to do anything in the air right now. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of, of the king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the Eternal Kingdom, Hollow Nest. I feel like somebody had to work hard on those doors. And I'm kind of being a dick about it. Eh? Yeah. yeah. Dirtmouth, the fading town. Oh there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. It used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long felt ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. 
It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Oh, hey. The save point right there? That's what I would judge the spinning icon to mean. For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Iselda and Cornifer. Can I just break in? I want maps. Alright. Maybe not yet. Whoa! Did not realize that was the well they were talking about. It looked like a gazebo, and then I fell through it and became a nightmare. Forgotten crossroads. I'm so destructive. I'm just a bad person. <laughs> People work on these things. Die, 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 die. So those ones can climb on walls. You thought I'd spare you? You were mistaken. We're big on non-aggressive bugs so far, just things that sort of lazily wander vaguely towards you. Oh, that's a sound. You alright, big boy? You alright? Are you the lonely caterpillar? I don't see a dialogue prompt. He's just being sad. Well, sorry, your family's gone, and everyone you ever knew, probably. That appears to be the implication. Lots of two-hit foes. Oh, well, that was unfortunate. <laughs> That'll teach me to free fall. I massively underjudged how much room was going to be below me. I thought I was going to drop down to the floor, and the floor was going to be, like, right there off camera. Nope, big giant room. Just the most giant room ever. You die. Now, and then you die. Then you die. Oops. Everything's fine. Ow. I'm doing a great job. We're all doing a great job. It's fine. Oh, crap. Didn't even see the door. Ooh. That's not how high I normally jump. Yeah, it looks like a continuous floor from here, just because there's a horizontal line that clearly goes all the way across, but as just as I jumped, it became really obvious there was a, a falling spot, because it, it lit up brightly. Hello? Can I talk to you? Hmm? Ah, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins. Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We are exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Sure. Does that mean I have a map now? You acquired a map, left bumper. A map can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you've not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass for my, my wife, Iselda. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things like to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. I have a map. So off to the left, I fell down that room, and now I'm down just below there where he is. He is also labeled on the map. But he has pre-mapped a bunch of the zones, so all the areas that I haven't been to yet are actually already on the map to the right. The question is, does it auto does it auto fill in the map as I explore it? I assume it does. I don't have to re and I don't have to manually buy them from him all the time. One way to find out, just head left. What was that? Gross. Oh, that's creepy. No. Oh. 
Oh. I don't think I'm able to really fight you directly, am I? I figured out the pogo trick immediately. Yeah. It does work in this game. Don't want to miss any of that currency. I can use it to buy a compass. And who knows how much that's going to cost. So this should be further left than the map went before. No, it's not filling in. Okay, so for now, the map doesn't fill in, at the very least. Oh, acid. Alarming. No. Gross. Monster Hunters conditioned me to think, think that bubbly, weird monsters like you are a friend, but you are not friend, are you? You are decidedly foe. Oh god. Hey, you're safe. You probably go back to the crying guy. He's probably gonna be like, oh yay, my friend's back. Or family, or child, or whatever. Alright, so even without dialogue, I can kind of intuit what's going on there, unless I'm massively wrong. But let's just ignore that possibility for now, and praise me for being incredibly smart all the time. All period. Like, without fail, like, wow, that guy's really smart. How did he, how's he smart all the time? Yeah. Can't do anything with this, can I? I think it's just atmospheric lighting. The game does have a remarkable sort of beauty so far for being so monochrome. All the soft light gradients probably help with that, although... Uh, in my history, in my experience, the gradients don't always go over well with a uh, YouTube compression, so... YMMV. Sure hope those don't despawn, because they're falling way down. Secret! I'll get back to you in a moment, Secret. I need money! Especially since it might despawn, I don't know. How do you tell? Oh god. No! I was picking up all the money! How dare you? You're between me and money. Get out of here. Money! Yes! Oh wow, I'm just missing all of it. I am fantastically not great at uh, platformers in general, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, it's not gone. Cool. Any of it above me? Nope. Got it. 106... 17. What about this wall? Alright, so now we know you can destroy walls, as I thought you might be able to. And that there is a feedback while it's happening. What are these coins, anyway? What are they made of? They look vaguely like scales, or maybe kind of chitinous? Perhaps? How did I get here? Is this the room with the horns? Or is that the boss? Am I something somewhere else completely different? I'm better at telling where I kind of am visually than I am at Recognize me, recognizing myself on the map at the moment. Oh, well, that's not great for my ability to read that, is it? But it was pointing in a direction indicating that there's a thing, which might be the boss or whatever the horned person is. It just might be an NPC. The horns nature of it just resembles what is often used to, to communicate boss room because the go to is devil horn stuff. But when you might have just like a horned beetle of some sort, that's going to be way less reliable information. Nope. Not getting through the wall that way. Worth a shot. I don't think I can clear that then until I get a new skill. It occurs to me I have not been healing. Which I need to get in the habit of. Between every fight, especially since you recover... Yow, your way of healing by hitting people. Die, die. Alright, time for our three hour experiment where we slowly whack one guy over and over again. 
until they finally die. It's the only way to know for sure that it's unkillable. All right, jump cut. All right, yeah, it's been three and a half hours. He's still alive. It turns out super invincible. Total waste of time. Are you friend or foe? Shit. But you look so friendly. Die. Ah. You are socially maladjusted. And now you are dead for your crime of being rude in a cave that I had no reason to go to for purposes other than to murder you and take your stuff. Yay! I cannot wall jump or wall or mantle. Ah. No. Very depressing when your currency falls into the nightmare death pit full of death. Yep. So far, it doesn't seem to despawn. Or at least I haven't seen evidence yet. I'm kind of sticking to the outer boundary of the level. I, I went far left until I couldn't go left anymore. Then I went down until I couldn't go down anymore. Now I'm going right until I can't go right anymore. And I'm just kind of circumnavigating the current map and feeling it out. Then maybe we'll search around in the core. Die, die, die. Ah! Tragic miss almost led to damage, and I cannot allow that. Ignore all the times where I took damage. That's Those didn't count. That was practice. Man, I hate lampposts, apparently. Excuse me. Yes! Can I jump back up there? I cannot. And now I'm gonna die. Great. Good job, me. Really showing them how capable you are. What's over here? Got more secrets for me? It says that way for ooziness, apparently. I should double check to see what I'm missing up here. Oh, crap. The answer is I can't make that jump, and I made a fool of myself again. Oh crap, did I just waste... I think that if you start holding B and then don't finish in time, it might use up your entire... It might use it up, despite the fact that you didn't actually use it to regenerate. I think I just made a mistake. Whoops. Learning early though, right? Well, this is an ominous room. Am I about to meet a covenant? Oh, look, it's the house with the, it's where they keep all the spooky ghosts. It's, it's like, there, this, that sign's just like, hey, you, this way for ghosts. And that's all. That's all they have here. What? I can't get into it? Weird, it totally looks like you'd be able to go into it. I assume that eventually you can map yourself, so I'm kind of just wondering... Like, obviously there's a compass, but uh, I don't know if the compass will add to the map. I wonder if you buy a pencil. <laughs> Excuse me, I would like a pencil? I don't know how to find them myself. Do you also attack me on sight? Oh god. Why do you do this? Why can't we friend? Oh well. And because they... because they, they're bugs, all their legs just curl up when they die. Something really off-putting about watching a humanoid figure curl up all of its legs as it shrivels and dies like an insect, because it is an insect. And stop. Stop. There we go. I'm not passing up on these currency options. Hopefully I'll be able to go back to town and spend it all on, like, mobility upgrades or something. Am I back where I started? Ow, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no.
I guess I did drop right at the beginning. So go up or right? I had a bottom right option, didn't I? Sticking to that perimeter strategy again. And where have we found ourselves now? This texture I find conspicuous. We've seen it a couple times now. Makes me wonder if we get like a dig power. Being a Metroidvania. Whenever you see a repeating piece of environment. It might just be cost saving measure. Or it could be a power you're going to get at some point. Oh. It looks like an adorable elephant tardigrade thing, but it also looks like a boss chamber. Is it a boss chamber? Yes. No, oh God. Ow. It'll just charge you directly. No health bar for the enemy, huh? Ow. I can... Oh, it was doing that dash this time. That makes sense. That... Um... Jeez. I'm sorry. Die. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yep, that's fitting. That's what... That's what insects do, they carry... They carry live ones inside them, and then they just all erupt outward. Oops. That was a dumb mistake. Alarming. Alarming. Uh... Damn. Yeah, that's one of the horrifying things they do. It's like... Man, you haven't lived till you stepped on a live spider, being like, Die, spider! And then a billion spiders erupt from the spider, and you're like, No! It can't be full of spiders. My victory is dashed. What's this? I think there might be even be some sort of, some kinds of insects that always have fatal births. Like they just ex ex like the birth process just kills the host. I think. Oh, oh, Oro, you oaf! You wield your nail like a club. Ask me, how much deeper do we have to go? Oh, oh? what? Who are you? I see. This old village. What a strange dream. To have led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have ever woken. I'm sly. Usually I live in an uneventful life up in Dirtmouth. The air in these ruins doesn't agree with me, so I'd best be getting back. If you return above, come and see me. I'm probably the friendliest face left there. And I can thank you properly for your good deed. Alright, enjoy your trip back. Apparently, he'll manage on his own. Tiny hint of Dark Souls-ish style in the way that they handle NPCs that you find in the environment and send them back to town. But in particular, Dirtmouth seems to be a really obvious reference to Lovecraft's uh, uh, fishing village Dartmouth, I believe. That's the right name, right? I was up here already, right? Yeah, it's before the boss fight. Ah! No. I have boundary issues. Stay away from me. Bye-bye. <laughs> Don't need any of that right now. And... Go! Agonizingly close. I'm beginning to think we're not wanted. I need, like, a dash or a double jump. Yeah. That's too bad. Only way back is through there, then. We almost certainly get, like, a mid-air dash or a grappling hook or double jump or something to work with. It's our best buddy. The guy that shoots his own young at us in order to murder us because he values our death over their life. Hee <laughs> hee, yay! I also like it when people shoot babies at me. A 
It's my final act. I will exhume more life for the purpose of your death. Even at the end, it's the last thing they do. Oops. No. No. And no. 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 No, no. Oops. I'm... I'm wondering if there's going to be a currency magnet in this game that sucks currency towards you when it's near you. Just because I can I can see this gravity-based currency being a problem very quickly with the way that it drops vertically down and the, these are very vertical rooms. Uh, otherwise, the whole playthrough is going to have me searching the floor of each room after I beat all the dudes. No matter how tall the room is. Train station? A door with an open slot. So it appears I need a train ticket. Ah, secret. No escape from me. I'll take every minor supply of money I can find. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's gonna open for me. Yeah. Yeah. Is this breakable? It looks kind of breakable. No? Hi. Die. Your babies don't know how to navigate yet. It turns out babies are actually bad warriors. This might, this might come as a surprise. You should try like train dudes before you send them after me. Pro trip. Unless you just like like having everything around you die, I guess. Hooray. Um okay, I can't go up there. I need some kind of unusual spike power. Unless I can hit. Oh, I see. I see. Ah. Attacking up while moving forward still is a little hard. Damn it. Damn it. Having some trouble here. This feels odd. Ah, what's wrong with me? That seems not that hard. Platforming challenges are what I excel at, said no one. I'm going to die at this rate. Way to go, me. Why? Why am I doing that wrong? It seems so obvious and easy. Shit. <laughs> well, that one was really bad. All right, let's <laughs> let's try to heal first. The adults in this room. Yep. All right. I am not a platforming king. <laughs> Oh, wow, that seems so easy, too. I solved the puzzle part of it. I just need to figure out how to make my brain stu not less stupid. Oh, I didn't even see those. Okay, well, I would love to get that stuff, but I also don't want to die. I'm down to my last piece of health. Oh, cool, a new enemy. This is a good context to fight one of them in. Nope, there goes the death. Time to learn how death works. Oh, cool! I lost everything. My 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 stuff, though. Oh, what a turn! Our shop keeps come home. Just wandered back in. I'm a ho I'd hoped for grand tales of his time below, but he seems to remember almost nothing. Maybe it was all too much for him. If you're interested in his wares, watch out. He drives a hard bargain. That one. No competition, that's the problem. It's bad for the market. Not that he's complaining. Uh, well, I have no money right now, so that's not a good sign. That's... wow, I lost all of it. Ah, uh, hello. I knew we'd meet again. How do you like my cozy little store? I've made myself pretty comfortable here, selling old trinkets for travelers like yourself. If you're planning a trip below, I have several items that may improve your chance of survival. I can't use any of these. That's a lot. I did not have that much. 
mask shard. This old thing, merely a fragment of something larger. Still, maybe you can make some use of it. Mask shard. Vessel fragment. I think this is a heart container and this is for this, the, whatever the, the energy on the left is called. Piece of a soul vessel, you know, those ghastly looking orb things. I don't really like the aura of, about it, but it's quite rare, so I'll have to charge you a high price. A simple key. Simply a simple key. It will fit a variety of locks, which is useful if you like to poke around in places you don't belong. Gathering swarm. Notch cost one blippity bloppily. I don't know what that is. You find yourself leaving a lot of geo behind as you hurry the caverns. This charm will make sure that any loose change finds its way back to you. That's what I- alright, so that's the magnet I predicted would exist. Tall or its shell. Two notches. Life in a hollow nest can be tough. Always taking hits, getting knocked around, this charm grants you more time to recover after taking damage. Useful if you needed to escape from a tight spot. Lumafly Lantern. What's more important, a light to guide your way or a friend who will stay by your side? Why not both take this bright little fellow as your companion and he'll light your way through the thickest darkness? Rancid Egg. Found this under the counter. Some creature must have laid it here while I was stuck down at the ruins. I suppose you could buy it? I won't miss its sour odor. I wonder if it does something, or if, it, like, uh, if it's a special unique item that does something special, or if it's just perhaps a consumable item, like something you maybe throw as a deterrent to get rid of somebody. 